Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another video lecture on discrete mathematics. Someone has rightly said that a picture is worth thousand words. By putting words and concepts in pictorial or diagrammatic representation, we can present many complex concepts in easy to understand form. Today we will understand and know how we can present sets in pictorial or diagrammatic representation. We will also know how to perform different kinds of operations on sets. Like suppose I want to combine two sets or I want to find the common elements between two sets or I want to know the elements that are not present in a set. To know answer to these questions, watch this video till end. At the end, we will conclude with the concept of power sets. What is a power set? How to find power set of a set? And we will cover some typical questions related to power sets. I am Muhammad Iqbal Bhatt. Let us start. A Venn diagram is a pictorial representation of sets to show relationship between sets and are named after the British logician John Venn. In a Venn diagram, sets are represented by enclosed areas in a plane. In Venn diagram, a universal set U is represented by the interior of a rectangle and all other sets are represented by discs or circles lying within the rectangle. For example, if A equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 is a set and B equal to 5, 6, 7, 8 is another set. And these two sets are disjoint sets, meaning they have no common element then they will be represented by two separated discs A and B inside a rectangle U representing universal set of A and B. Now if A is a subset of B, then the disc representing A will be entirely within the disc B. In case there are some elements common between A and B, then A and B will be represented by two overlapping disks with the overlapping portion showing common elements. We will cover more diagrammatic forms in the set operations, so let us move to set operations. The basic set operations are union, intersection, complement, and symmetric difference. First, union of sets. If A and B are two sets, then their union represented by is the set containing all elements that are either in A or in B. That is, A union B equal to X such that X belongs to A or X belongs to B. We can represent it in Venn diagram as here the shaded portion represents the union of A and B. Suppose A equal to 1, 2, 5, 7 and B equal to 1, 3, 8, 9 are two sets. Then A union B is equal to 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 8 and 9. Second, intersection of sets. If A and B are two sets, then their intersection represented by is the set containing all those elements that are both in A and B. That is, A intersection B is equal to X, such that X belongs to A and X belongs to B, means elements which belong to both the sets. We can represent it in Venn diagram as here the shaded portion represents the intersection of A and B. Suppose A is a set equal to 
one two five seven and b is another set equal to one three eight nine then a intersection b is equal to one since there is only one common element in a and b that is one so a intersection b equal to one third complement of a set there are two kinds of complements depending upon whether the complement is made with respect to a universal set or some other set absolute complement or simply a complement the complement of a set a with respect to universal set u is the set containing all those elements which are in universal set u but not in a and is represented by or that is a complement equal to x such that x belongs to the universal set and x does not belong to a in diagram we can represent it as here the shaded portion represents the complement of a and that is the area that is outside the circle of a suppose a and b are two a is a set equal to one two five seven and u is the universal set of this a containing one two three four five six seven eight and nine then a complement is equal to three four six eight and nine all those elements which are in universal set but but not in set a second kind of complement is relative complement or difference the relative complement of a set a with respect to some set b is the set containing all those elements which are in set a but not in b and is represented by or that is a relative complement b is equal to x such that x belongs to a and x does not belong to b in when when diagram we can represent it as here the shaded portion represents the complement of a suppose a equal to 1 2 5 7 be a set and b equal to 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 then a relative complement b is equal to 1 comma 2 fourth one is symmetric difference the symmetric difference of sets a and b denoted by is the set containing elements which belong to either a or b but not to both that is a symmetric difference b is equal to x such that x belongs to a and x does not belong to b or x belongs to b and x does not belong to a since x belongs to a and x does not belong to b is a relative complement b and x belonging to b and x does not belong to a is b complement a the symmetric difference can be written as a symmetric difference b is equal to a relative complement b union b relative complement a there is one more representation of symmetric difference that is a symmetric difference b is equal to a union b relative complement a intersection b meaning all those elements which are in a union b but not in a intersection b suppose a equal to 1 2 5 7 is a set and b equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 is another set then a symmetric difference b is equal to 3 4 6 8 9 means all those elements which are either in a or in b but not in both power set a power set of a set a is the set of all possible subsets of a and is represented by let us find power set of some sets beginning with a null set 
since there are no elements in a null set then the number of subsets in a null set are zero no why because null is a subset of every set so even null set contains one element in its power set which is a null set so the power set of a null set is equal to phi a null set next for a singleton set a equal to one how many subsets yes two one is the null subset and another is the element one next a set a equal to one comma two with two elements has four subsets and are listed below how is one comma two a subset of one comma two because every set is a subset of itself so remember while enumerating subsets of a set the last entry will be the set itself is there some formula that can be used to find the number of elements in a power set yes for a set a the number of elements in power set p of a is 2 to the power cardinality of a that is where d is the cardinality of the set so for a set a equal to 1 2 3 the number of subsets is 2 raised power cardinality of set A which is 3 so 2 raised power 3 is equal to 8 and those subsets are don't forget to put subsets in curly braces now one typical question find the power set of these sets A equal to 5 b equal to phi comma 1 c equal to phi comma phi set comma 1 let us take them one by one first one is a equal to phi what is the cardinality of this set it is one so how many elements 2 raised power 1 that is 2 what is the first element null set because null is a subset of every set and another set the set itself phi so power set of a is equal to yeah it is so easy let us take next one b equal to phi comma one now this one is easy cardinality is two number of subsets two raised power two is equal to four first subset is phi last subset is the set itself phi comma one rest two subsets are the elements in the set that is phi and one so power set of b is equal to now let us take the final one c equal to phi comma phi set comma one again cardinality three so number of subsets 2 raised power 3 that is 8 first subset phi last subset is the set itself three more subsets are the three elements put in curly braces that is phi double curly brace phi and 1 notice here a double curly brace around phi because the element is a set itself with curly braces so one more curly brace to represent a set of a set revise the analogy of an empty folder inside an empty folder inside another empty folder now rest three elements are the permutations of phi phi set and one which are phi comma phi set first and second element phi comma one first and third element phi comma one first and last element so power set of c is equal to hope you can now find power set of any set 
just remember the first element to analyst is a null set and the last element to analyst is the set itself and a set for each element then rest are the permutations of those elements that is all in today's video lecture see you soon in another video lecture thanks for watching